Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of March 25th. We begin with the Seven of Wands in the past position. This card often represents challenges, competition, and having to stand your ground. So it's suggesting you, you've recently faced some significant obstacles or conflicts, and you may have encountered situations where you really needed to defend your beliefs, your, your values, or just your decisions. This card indicates that you've displayed resilience and determination in overcoming these recent challenges. The experiences that are associated with this card have likely shaped your character and strengthened your resolve. So even though this might have been quite a challenging situation for you, you came out of it realizing even more strongly than before how dedicated you are to your principles, to what you believe in. Whatever this was, it's heightened that for you. And you're, you're feeling very much the courage of your convictions because of it. And sometimes that's what challenges do for us. They really weirdly build up our confidence when we come through on the other side. So there may have been something that happened recently where you really had to defend yourself and it's really strengthened your belief in your own, the solidity of your character and your principles. We have the world card in the present position. This card represents completion and fulfillment and harmony. It signifies a sense of achievement and accomplishment. It's suggesting that you, you've reached a significant milestone or attained a long-term goal. And in the present position here, it's indicating that you're currently experiencing a period of success and satisfaction and, and wholeness where one phase has come to a successful completion and another one is about to begin. So you may be feeling the sense of contentment and, and balance in certain areas of your life, whether that's career, relationships, or just personal development. The world card encourages you to embrace this moment of triumph and celebrate your achievements. So I think there's something to do here with something you've had to defend yourself on. And it could be something even, something like defending your thesis or something like that, where once you've successfully done so, that brings you to a successful completion of your degree, your master's degree or whatever it might be. So that, that might be the case for some of you that you are currently bringing something to an end where you have to work quite hard on it and defend yourself in one way or another. That's coming to a very successful completion for you and that's bringing out about the end of this phase and a new one is about to begin for you. We have the judgment card in your future position. And this really makes sense following this world card because judgment is all about new beginnings, second chances, and, and kind of a, an awakening of the spirit. This card symbolizes rebirth, renewal, and awakening. It suggests a period of reflection, evaluation, and also making some important decisions. So in this future position, it's indicating that you'll soon undergo a significant transformation or awakening that will lead to profound changes in your life. You may find yourself at a crossroads where you're facing some crucial choices that will shape your future path. The judgment card encourages you to listen to your inner calling right now. Release any past judgments or regrets that you don't need anymore and really embrace this fresh start that this card is promising you. It's really a reminder to also trust your intuition right now and seek clarity as you embark on a new chapter of your journey here. So it looks like you, you've overcome some challenges and obstacles in your recent past with a lot of resilience and determination. And you're experiencing a period now of feeling quite fulfilled and accomplished and the, the sense of harmony because of that. The future, however, holds this transformative phase where you're going to really need to reflect on your life's direction and make some important decisions and embrace a new beginning. 
And that certainly makes sense if you are finishing up something like a master's degree or some kind of educational program, um, some kind of promotion, something like that. That, that very much makes sense that there will be a new beginning that, that comes out of that for you where you're going to have to really reflect on how you got here and make some important decisions about moving forward into this new beginning. So you're really encouraged this week to trust in your abilities, celebrate your achievements, and remain open to these opportunities for growth and renewal that lie ahead for you. At the bottom of the deck, we pulled the Ace of Swords as your clarifying card for this week. This card represents clarity and breakthroughs and new perspectives. So it has a really nice symbiotic energy with particularly this judgment card here. It signifies a moment of mental clarity and insight where you gain this deeper understanding of a situation or you find solutions to challenges you might be facing. So as the clarifying card here, the Ace of Swords is really emphasizing the importance of clear communication right now and rational thinking and intellectual honesty with yourself and with other people. It suggests that you may need to approach the upcoming changes and decisions with a really sharp focus but also an open mind. So there's really this highlighting of the importance of, of clarity and discernment as you navigate through this transformative phase that's coming ahead. It's really important you have a, a clear mind and you use logic and discernment. This Ace of Swords is suggesting that you may need to rely on logic and reason and objective analysis to make informed choices. This card encourages you to seek truth, to speak your truth, and embrace new perspectives that can lead to breakthroughs for you and a lot of personal growth. So it's saying really trust in your intellect and your intuition as you move forward on this, this journey of self-discovery and renewal. So it looks like there is some very important phase that has come to completion or is in the midst of coming to completion for you. And you're going to be feeling quite proud of yourself because you stayed really determined. You defended yourself well. You stuck to your principles. And that brought you to the successful completion of this phase and into this energy of renewal and awakening. You're going to have to really exercise some clear thinking, communicate really clearly with yourself and other people. You're going to be seeing things quite clearly, which is a beautiful gift when working with this energy of, of judgment where there's some kind of new path, transformative energy that you're working with. The Ace of Swords is coming in saying, don't worry, we're going to see quite clearly how to work with this energy. We're going to understand the decisions that we need to make to move forward most effectively, most in alignment with our higher good. You're being given the gift of clarity this week. So really tap into that as you move forward into this next new phase that represents an awakening of some sort for you. So that is your reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.